What's up, fuckers? This is Eric Johnson, and I'm with RBM, and this is Hi. my New Japan series. That's right. I'm doing something I've never done before, and my and I'm God, I'm gonna get pwned doing it. And I'm just here to kind of uh, help him with the first show. He's gonna be doing this as a solo series, but you know I'm just here to help get his feet off the ground. That is right. So here's what I did. I I no uh, television at all. Um, there was only events, which I thought was pretty stupid. Yes, I know they're a touring company. Well, I don't do touring. I only do uh, TV. So I decided to we got we went out touring. and got a giant TV deal. Uh, we are all over the world on television except, right now, except in parts of Australia and. Uh, Europe. And a couple other regions. And Europe. And that's it. Uh, we have Central Europe and New Zealand. That's about it for those two regions. But nonetheless, nope. we are basically on TV around the world. So this is NJPW TV being held by New Japan Pro Wrestling. we got 7,100 people to show up. And boy, oh boy, do we have a card set set up for you guys for the first right. ever TV show or TV episode for the New Japan Pro Wrestling TV show. That is right. And look at that. We have Bullet Club taking on Great Bash Heel. Deep making defense number one of their ta tag team titles. And as you see here, though, Makabe had a 80. Makabe. Makabe. <laughs> Uh, did I fuck up again? Yep. Makabe. Well, Toji Makabe got a 86. This guy needs to be a world champ someday. No doubt in my mind. But nonetheless, he got a six, we, uh, these guys got a 68. That was a pretty damn good pre-show match. Didn't have much heat, though. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Doc Gallows there, but come on, Doc. He improved, so he might do better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, turns out I have to give everybody... Uh, give By the way, we had to give all these guys, like, brand new... Yes. Awful. Good to know. Above average. There you go. Above average. Great. Fantastic. Above average. So Doc's the only one that sucks at being an outside threat. Good to know. And look at that. Oh, my goodness. A 72B minus. Oh, my goodness. I told you this would be a good match. I think every match is going to be a high rated. Off. I hope so, at least. How's he awful at not giving a shit? What the fuck? Fucking, I hate this shit. Anyway. He's off with not giving a shit. Or, or giving I mean, he'll get better. Hopefully. Okay, I figured there's a language barrier, but a 47's pretty good still. Average. Oh, by the way, Keiji Muto returned to people. Yes, yeah, sorry. Keiji Muto is the owner, the new owner of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah, he left K K One or whatever it is, and he, he decided to upgrade. <laughs> yeah, well, great. basically, he decided to upgrade to NJPW, and he's going to take this to to America, to Canada, to Mexico, to Europe, part, one region of Australia, and New Zealand. That's right. He, he is breaking New Japan out of their comfort zone. This is Japan. That's right. He wants to try to make it worldwide and compete with WWE. But uh, nonetheless. So basically right here, he announced that the NWA, that New Japan Pro Wrestling bought the NWA title. And he's, and Fergal Debit is going to be like uh, competing for it at New Beginning. 
Who will you compete for it against? Oh, you're just going to have to find out. Nonetheless, oh, that's right. We got to do all the gimmick changes. Poor. Oh, man. Average. All right. Awful. What? That's fine. What? Next. A 71 to start off the night. Look at Eugene Nagata, 85, and he's like like 50 years old. Yeah, he can still wrestle. This is a, he will be a fun baby face. Awful. Oh, my Jesus. And here's the graphic tonight for... And in the main, the event, main event, first main event of New Japan. Shiko Okada will be defending his IWGP heavyweight title against okay. Keiji Muto. Muto. What a dream match, people. Muto versus Okade. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm sorry, Okada. There you go. So this will be the first main event of NJPW TV. And here we go. Oh, my goodness. How did this match not get better? What? What? <clears throat> what? The fuck are you talking about? Th this match was impressive. Wow, that was... <laughs> Damn. Yes. Average. Average. That was a pretty damn good match. Here we go. We got a 60C for the World Junior Heavyweight. <clears throat> Ouch. That's why it became a 60. Still a good match, nonetheless. Taka improved, really. He's like 50 years old. Um, Taka had a Dakota with an 80. Holy fuck. Who has bad psychology? That's what the fuck I want to know. That's so stupid. He's a below average dancing fool. Okay. Not bad. We had a 69 C plus. Also had Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson showing excellent chemistry. I mean, I surely hope so. Young Bucks still need to improve, but that's okay. Any improvements? Just Nick. Negatives. There's a lot of them. Poor psychology. Well, that sucks ass. Declining physical ability. Not surprised. On the last guy, 69C+. Plus. RBM, where are you at? Internet. Internet. Oh, I see that. Yo, 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 fuck, well, go back to him in a minute, 69, what the fuck is this shit, we lost RBM, damn it, got an above average comic book hero, Average comic book hero. Cool. And Okada and Muto got a 74. I thought Muto would do better. That is all right. Four, really? Anyway. All 
right, so the show got a 68. That should have been a lot better. Huh. That, not sure why that didn't do better. tell him. Well, we got a 68 C plus that um, uh, was really underwhelming. I thought that was going to be a way better show. Well, we are now partners with NXT. That is fucking hysterical. There's a couple of guys that are up to no good. That are making trouble in our neighborhood. Yeah, so that'll be the first show of New Japan. Uh, could have been better, but you know what? We're learning, is all that counts. <laughs> I'm going to be very lost for a while. If you like this video, just... uh. So let me know in the comments section below. Give a like. Let me know if I should keep going. Thank you and stay tuned.